come to think of it, I am actually 30, right? So... I am in fact a middle-aged man now, so... Her life is older than 31. So, uh... I recently noticed, like, so... You know how... Um... Like, if you check YouTube... You sometimes, like, notice... That... There's, like, a... This difference between you and... Like, other people, right? And thank you so much for the donation, S. Yeah, I noticed it, too. Um... I'm actually thinking about dyeing my, my hair blue, actually. I think it is, though. So, like, the thing about it is, uh... Um... This is recently something that I noticed, right? So... When you're 30, I'm 30 now, I'm 30, right? I can assume that, like, all my viewers are around my age. Or, like, at least older than 20-something. But look at this pool right here. There are a lot of, like, people younger than 13. Yeah, so... I kind of want to pin this, so let me pin this. I mean... Let me actually... Wait. How old is everybody? Like, seriously. Yeah, see? 11. 10. 12. 14. See? I'm not saying, like, there's anything wrong with it. Like, there's seriously nothing wrong with, like, being 12, like, 13 or anything. But what I'm saying here is, like, uh... So... Th there's, like, this huge... Gap... Between... What... You think your... Viewers are... And who they really are. You know what I mean? Why do you just want to, like, go that way, though? Well, what I'm saying is, like... You, you just do YouTube and you will know, like, what I mean, though. Mental age, whatever. Do YouTube, and if you're, like, 12, and if you do YouTube, you will just, like, start assuming that your viewers are like around 12 as well and that's kind of what I just assume as well but I recently noticed that yeah a lot of my viewers are <laughs> young I'm not saying like there's anything wrong with it anyways so this is what we're gonna do today right and uh, I prepared uh, this weave scale thing as well this time because this is really, really important. And, uh... So... This tier list... Is 100% like based on my... Experience. And you you guys can actually learn from like... This tier list as well. And uh, Eric... Dar... 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 Thank you so much for the donation. If you like actually 45, that's actually amazing. 36歳おじさんだぞ。えっと、おじさんは関係です。かなり。あの、おじさんって知識深いんで学べること多いんですよね。なので。So what I mean by that is like you can figure out like why some people are so good at speaking Japanese and some are not. Cause like, so, you know what's funny though? I was like thinking about this, like last week actually, like before my previous stream even. And I was like, the language you speak definitely has some influence on like how fluent you can be in Japanese, is like what I thought. But there's like definitely some difference between like British people American people, Australian people, even though like their primary language there is like English, right? And let me explain. So, let's start with 
America first, right? Um, because when it comes down to like Americans, like this is really, 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 really interesting. Let me take a poll about this. So Americans. So I want you guys to guess like what tier they belong uh, belong in. So like A, B, C. Like they are Japanese fluency. Tell me. And I can tell you like some interesting stuff that I learned from my experience. Scot Scottish, yeah. C46, yeah. Americans can never be like God tier. Because God tier is basically, I'll explain. There's like only like one country, probably. Like two? One or two. And if I say this, like you guys will be like, yeah, that's true. I'm not talking about Japanese people, like definitely really bad. So you say that, right? And uh, if I have to be completely honest with you guys all, um, and thank you so much for the donation, Abstract Lion, how long does it take to become fluent in Japanese? That's kind of what I'm going to talk about in this stream as well. So like, uh, tell me where you're from and I can just tell you how long it might take for you. Because it's different, like up to what country you're from. So Americans could be... Yeah, here, actually. So, um, the main reason is, I mean, they can be actually B too, depending on like, but America is just like so versatile and I really cannot say like, oh, American soccer, Japanese, because there are so many kinds of like different people, right? In America. So like if they wanted to find like Japanese people that live in the States, uh, are you going to talk to your viewers and rank them today? No. So, Americans, the, it's easy to find Japanese people in the States. What if they are Japanese-American parents speak Japanese? In that case, like, yeah, that too. So, America is, like, so versatile. So, like, um, there are so many factors to it. And thank you so much for the donation. Let me just read it later. Um, so we really cannot say like, oh, Americans are bad at Japanese. And Hawaii, yeah, for example, yeah, that too. So this one's really hard. They can be here. But generally, because Americans have like this mindset where they go like, America is a country where people speak English. So we just have to speak English. Like that mindset itself uh, usually leads people to speak English more than Japanese, from my experience. There are some different people, though. Like, there are some people who are interested in, like, different cultures and, like, different languages. But that's kind of what I noticed from, like, my experience. And we've, we've been as tier... America, 100% here. <laughs> like, 100%. Like, they have, they have to be here. So. Every American I met is like American. I mean, weeb. What does fluent as fork mean? You'll see. And as thank you, is this based on accent or difficulty to learn based on originating language? You'll see. I'm gonna just like talk about a lot of like different things because this is gonna be kind of interesting actually. I never didn't, I didn't really think about this, but then I recently started thinking about this and I was like, I thought your first language has things to do with like how fluent you will be in Japanese, but there are some differences between like Americans, British, and like Australians. And Mon Gecko Kenshi, thank you. Hey chat, I wonder what it's what it what's it like doing. And by the way, Sora, you're one of my uh, biggest motivators. I'm heading to uh, Rochester Institute, and I want to say thanks. Thank you so much for the donation. I'm not I'm not really doing anything, but thank you so much for the donation. <laughs> I really appreciate. it. Are Americans really nerdy? It's not that. It's not that. So the thing about it is like here, America is like, so this is what people say, right? America is a melting pot. Like there is like different people. There are a lot of like different cultures and whatever. So it's easy to also get exposed to like Japanese culture at the same time. 
like if you're in the states, you probably have like friends from like a lot of different countries, right? So they usually are exposed to like Japanese culture a lot more than, let's say, like Japanese people actually. Like more than we are exposed to like American stuff. Like Americans seriously know a lot about what's happening outside of the states. Americans, well, like people freaking make fun of like Americans for being dumb and whatever. But no, from my experience, Americans know a lot more about what's happening outside of like America actually. Compares to, uh, what is it? Ja Japanese people. So that. And thus, Americans are gonna be here. And yeah, they can be here too. Because, like, America is, like, a country, like, where people either don't learn languages, like, at all, because, like, you know, I'm American mindset, or people are so exposed to, like, different cultures and they get interested in, like, different stuff and they learn it. So, yeah, it depends on region, too. So, America's, like, really different. They cannot be here, though. They cannot be here because there's, like, only two countries, like, one country, like, that kind of belongs here. Can you guys guess? Yeah, if, if English is your first language, Japanese is really hard. Yeah, that's true. Can you guys guess, like, what's gonna be- ah! Thank you so much for the donation. Little Trini Weeb. Methodical likes grannies. Methodical likes gr grannies? Wait, is Methodical here? Wait, do you actually, like, them? I mean, I'm not saying like there's anything wrong with it, but... Korea, China. Yeah, um... Thank you so much for the donation, a little trainee weeb. Methodical likes... So... I didn't know he's into that, but yeah. Singapore Jin was a good... So, 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 so! Singapore Jin was really good! Well, I'll tell you later. I'm sorry, but... So, God Tier... Is... Yes. Korea, 100%. So, there are like a lot of uh, similarities between like Korean and Japanese. So like, I don't speak Korean, so I don't know much about it. But, I, I think I talked about this before. Uh, we share like a lot of similar words in our languages. Like, um, I think lib li libraries like in Japanese is like, Toshokan. And in Korean, isn't it like Toshokuan or something? I could be wrong because I don't speak Korean. And then grammar is apparently complete, not, not, not completely, but like really similar. So what they have to do is like they literally have to memorize like all the words and they can replace like, you know, their Korean words with Japanese words. Then they can speak Japanese is like what my Korean friends told me. So like one of my Korean friends told me like, it takes only six months for them to learn how to speak Japanese. So, yeah, here. And uh, JD, thank you. Korean and Japanese grammar are so similar. Yeah, it's so similar. And uh, from my experience, do you guys know that there's like this beef between like Koreans and Japanese people, by the way? Do you guys know about it? Because <laughs> I can tell you some interesting thing from my experience. So yeah, because of like history and stuff, like there's uh, some beef between like Japanese people and Korean people, right? Yeah, it's uh, something about history. So you might think, you might think ja Japanese people don't like Korea and Koreans like don't like ja Japanese people. What I noticed is like, as long as they speak the language, as long as, as long as like they know how to communicate with each other, they actually become best friends. Isn't this kind of interesting? So from my experience, so, so if if Koreans go to like let's say Canada, and if they see Japanese people, they usually end up being like freaking best friends, because culture-wise we are really really similar, and what we are interested in is, is like really really similar. What food we eat is like really similar. What we talk about is like similar. We both have like this you know respectful culture, so like we usually uh, like end up being best friends. So, the thing about it is like, Japanese people who don't speak English or co Korean tend to have things against Korea. And Korean people who don't speak English 
and Japanese tend to have things against Korea. If they speak English or like you know、uh, other languages to communicate with like each other, then he, they usually become like best friends. So I'm gonna have to put them here. <laughs> Because from my experience, again, from my experience, I have like a lot of Korean friends. All my Korean friends talk about anime and games everywhere, just like Japanese people. Again, Japanese people freaking watch anime games, like, watch anime and play games everywhere. Like, that's just what we do, right? And、uh, <laughs> we are similar, as I said. We are similar, right? So, like, their interest is like also kind of similar. And I have a lot of Korean friends who have watched like 1,000 different animes, and like they literally can freaking just mimic like all the you know different voices from anime and whatever. Is it really that common to watch anime in Japan? Yes, watching anime is not cringy in Japan. And thank you, Lemon Jongi.、Uh, I, I always used to wonder why so many K pop groups had a lot of Japanese songs and how they learned the Japanese so easily. And then I realized how similar the language is, grammar and structure wise. Also, methodical like loves grammars. Thank you so much for the donation. Manga everywhere in Korea, yeah. Headed to web comics and there's some manga. It's called Manfa there too, by the way. And like a lot of、uh, Manfas. Are strongly like influenced by like a Japanese style ones too. So, like, in reality, like,、uh, we are good friends, but because of like some stuff that happened in the past, it kind of seems like we have a beef against each other. But once you know how to talk to each other, like, they usually, I mean, yeah, I mean, Koreans and Japanese people usually end up being like, Best friends. That's kind of what happened when I was back in university, too. Because we both have like this senpai, kohai culture, so that. And yeah,、uh, yeah, everybody freaking yeah, talks about、uh, the Philippines here. So, like, you, can you guys guess like, what Philippines is gonna be? Guess, 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 guess. Let me actually take a poll here. I'm curious. And I know like what Filipinos are gonna say too, but. I can just unpin this message now. And Japanese people here are, yeah, stating some facts here. And thank you,、uh, Storm Watch Eagle. I've heard there's a large Japanese population in Brazil. Is that still true? Yes, it's true. So I watch. Like a lot of、uh, sports games and stuff. Every time I see a Brazilian like, player,、uh, they usually have like, a Japanese name, like Takahashi, you know, and whatever. So it's still true, yes. So, as a lot of you guys guessed, they cannot be God tier. I mean, God tier is like only Korea and probably like some other. There's like one more country, but I'm gonna talk about it later. Yeah, Philippines is gonna be here. Probably. Oh, and I have to say that Philippines, right? Because, like, I learned it from like, my、uh, Filipino friends. Like, it's not Philippines, but it's that Philippines. So, Filipinos,、um, from my experience, they, so, they have the culture where、uh, like, they are not afraid of like, making mistakes, they are really challenging, right? So, what they do is here. The Japanese people are kind of bad at like, speaking English because like, they, we are afraid of like, making mistakes, so we don't even like, speak the language. But Filipinos are, their mindset is this like, we have to do it or we will never learn it. So, I know our Japanese is bad, but still, we have to speak it. So, at first, their Japanese is bad, yes. But then, but then they usually like, they, they improve like, super freaking fast, yeah. And、um, I mean, yeah, I mean, there are some people who are not like that, but I'm talking about the majority of like, people there. So, Filipinos are kind of known for speaking like broken Japanese at first, and then they start learning. They usually learn off of like 
making friends and talking to people. They don't really use textbooks. So, and then, like, they usually speak, like, freaking, you know, five different languages because, like, there they are different languages in the Philippines. So, like, they are used to speaking different languages and making mistakes, right? Did I spell it wrong? Really? The Philippines. Did I really spell it wrong? Wait, did I really spell it wrong? Oh, one more P. And thank you, man of culture. Uh, in the US, you can tell what kind of anime someone watched by the Japanese words they know. Masaka, Death Note, Kisama, Vegeta fans, Baka, Tsundere fans, Omae, Mimus, Yamete, Itaiyo, Mi. <laughs> you watch hentai, huh? But thank you so much for the donation. So the Philippines is here. And uh, one thing I can just mention is like, there are a lot of like Japanese Filipinos here in Japan. And for some reason, Japanese Filipinos are known for freaking one of the best looking people. Uh, so. And. <laughs> Do you, can you guys guess? Do you weep to you? They weeped you. <laughs> <laughs> actually, like, I can just make a different tier for Filipinos because, like, their weebiness is actually S tier. Like, more weeby than, like, freaking anybody else. It's crazy, though. It's insane. Like, so the thing about it is, actually, you know what? Americans can be here. Never mind. Americans can be here. Yeah, Americans are not, like, that weeby compared to, like, some of the, the, the people here. Yeah, so, the thing about it is, like, the, the reason why I decided to move America here is because, I'm gonna just write the US. So, um, Americans are also, like, open-minded. Like, really. So, like, they don't just watch anime and go like, oh, Japan's amazing, I want to learn Japanese. They are usually interested in, like, like, history, more food, more, like, yeah, stuff like that at the same time. So the definition of a weeb here is, like, when you just l literally watch anime and just go like, ha, senpai, right? And uh, so Americans are into cultural stuff too sometimes like there are a lot of weaves too but from my experience they usually are interested in like japanese politics and like yeah us weaves swing and fix some race always put back in a i'm talking about the majority of people here though i, I know like there are some like how the core weaves in the states but compared to the philippines yeah i mean americans cannot really beat them i'm sorry like the philippines it's insane so like i have a lot of filipino friends right they, all of them freaking say like, I watch anime, I watch Attack on Titan, Kakoi Senpai. Uh. Bro, you are underestimating Americans. I'm talking about the majority of people here. Like, so, uh, Americans are usually in, into like a lot of different stuff. No way, really? Yeah, from my experience. I'm not saying like it's a bad thing or anything. So here, there are a lot of Filipinos here, right? There are, not, there are a lot of like Filipinos here, right? If you're Filipino, if you're Filipino, tell me, are you a weeb? Yes, one. Well, no, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> I'm this kind of <laughs> explain something, right? So there are some like people who say no. Yeah, right. I mean, obviously, it's not like everybody's gonna say yes. But that's just like how the culture is, I guess, there. It's like watching anime is like part of like what they no, it's like what they do but like what they like <laughs> so there are a lot of like we we be people there and at the same time like they're they're japanese like really really fluent like that's kind of what i figured out about filipinos and they are really friendly too so that's kind of like one of the reasons like they'd like to talk right they like to talk they like to take selfies they like to freaking take selfies and like to upload their pictures on like whatever platforms like they are so they are just outgoing so they just like to speak japanese and that's kind of just yeah what it's like and i know like there are a lot of like indians here are here too 
India's gonna be kind of interesting though. So, India. <laughs> this is gonna be really interesting. Cause <laughs> India's gonna be interesting. Yeah. I have like a lot of friends here in Japan who are like Indians. A man of culture, thank you. Ask any Filipino about Voltron. They can probably sing the OP song by heart. That show has been on replay for like 30 plus years now. So the reason why there are like a lot of uh, weebs in Japan, I mean in the Philippines is because like anime is like legitimately on TV 24-7. If so, like that makes sense. And Roland Pada, thank you. Oh, ore Philippine no kata desu. Ohayo, ohayo gozaimasu. Yeah, so Philippine no hito wa ne, ano, nandaro, seyo no hito ni kurabete, seyo no hito ni kurabete, pera pera no hito boi, boi to. And Anna Portela, thank you. I watched some Japanese VTuber girls. I actually learned some cool Japanese like Tatsuze, Furin, and Geri. Every now and then a Filipino show up, and yeah, we're really weeby guys, cool dudes. They are cool, yes, they are cool. But, they are like really really weeby. Like, seriously, if you see any weebs on the internet, like there's like 90% chance that they are usually Filipinos, by the way. I mean, I could be wrong actually. Never mind. Yeah, I mean, that, that's probably wrong. But, but, like, let's say if you see a Filipino person um, in a Japanese community, they usually are there because they watch anime. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry for that. Why do you have to be sorry for that? It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's like you literally are saying like, I like rock music. Like there's nothing wrong with it. Like there's nothing wrong with like being a weeb. It's not illegal. It's actually awesome, isn't it? And then Wosan, thank you so much for the donation. And Black Sheep 2000, Korea as well. Koreans are really weeby, yeah. And uh, Christy R, sorry that I missed your past stream, but here's some lunch money to make up for it. Thank you so much for the donation. I really ap appreciate it. So Indians, you guys say B, right? Uh, from my experience, Indians are gonna be here. So, India is kind of same too, actually. Like, so, um, Filipinos and Indians are really similar. They have like a lot of different languages, like in their country, right? So, they are exposed to different languages, and they are used to speaking different languages. And if you say, like, that's surprising, come to Japan, man. Like, there are a lot of, like, Indian restaurants, and if you go to, like, any Indian restaurants, they freaking speak some insane level of Japanese. Compared to Koreans, still, yeah, they cannot really beat Korea, but still, their Japanese is, like, insanely good. I go, I, I've been to, I, I've went, been to, like, a lot of, uh, Indian restaurants because I have a thing for Indian food. The year Japanese is insane, like actually insane, as in like really good, right? So India is gonna be here. And they also have like this culture where they are not afraid of like making mistakes. And they have like this mindset where they think they are supposed to speak language in the day we do. Like that's kind of why there's like this thing called uh, Indian accent and that's kind of, you know, known everywhere right i remember like when i was like 18 or something i wanted to sell an australian because like th there were a lot of like australian people like around me and there was like this one indian guy who told me like hey sora why are you trying to sell an australian and i'm like because i have like friends who are from there and he was like you're japanese why don't you just try to sound japanese and i was like oh that's true since then i just decided to just sound like myself because like th what he said actually made sense to me i was like that's true, yeah. I'm, I'm Japanese, like, why do I even have to, like, freaking try to follow, like, other people? So, the Indians, like, have that mindset, usually. So, their accent is remarkable, like, when they speak Japanese. But, their proficiency, like, when it comes down to just, like, Japanese itself, it's, yeah, this level. It's, like, boom. So, and then... <laughs> Indians are on par with like freaking Filipinos, dude. Like seriously, I think I talked about this before, but but Indians, do you guys freaking talk about anime everywhere, right? Right? 
And I'm uh, man, Pandy, thank you so much for the donation. Yo, grammar in Hindi and Japanese is hard. Not gonna lie. I don't know about the language like that's spoken there though, so I don't I'm not sure about it. But we Indians, you guys freaking talk about anime everywhere. Like seriously, right? You guys say like I watch anime, I watch manga, I play games. Which is not a bad thing, by the way, I'm saying. But but you guys freaking talk about anime everywhere. Right, you do, right? I'm Indian, so they are a, a lot of weebs, I agree with that. See? Even like an actual Indian saying, saying that. Again, like there are some people like who are not weebs in India as well. But from my experience, when I see a person uh, who comes up to me saying like I'm from India, they also talk about anime at the same time. Like they usually go like, I watch this anime, do you watch this anime? So, and I'm like, dude, why does it have to be the first thing you talk about? But yeah, so yeah, that. India in my mind. Anime is banned in India. I don't think anime is banned in India though. So, And Dabad Shoes, thank you. Is that why people confuse Shiru for being Filipino even though he's Japanese? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> but thank you so much for the donation. Vivian X, thank you. Do you like anime? Uh, I watch Attack on Titan. And I kind of want to just mention China, too. China, yeah... China. So, that's kind of like... Yeah. I mean... As people kind of guessed, they are gonna be here, too, yeah. Because, in the first place, we freaking have, like... used the same, like, writing system, kanji. So, it's easy for them to learn Japanese because they literally know. Yeah, they already know kanji. They don't, they don't have to learn that part, mostly. So, that. And they are weeb dear. Yeah, China's gonna be here, actually. So, they watch anime too. But, from my experience, Chinese people study a lot, dude. Like, seriously. I think the culture there is like, they have to study, right? It's all about, like, knowing academic st stuff a lot to survive. And their parents also, like, teach their kids and tell their kids to, like, freaking study a lot. So they learn a lot. So they usually get interested in, like, historical stuff, cultural stuff. And they usually, yeah, get interested in Japanese history and culture and whatever. So, um... They are weeby sometimes, but compared to Filipinos and Indians and, you know, uh, compared to, like, these people, I think they are less weeby. On par with, like, China, I think. So, Indians study a lot as well. I know you guys do, too. I know you guys do, too. But what I'm saying is, like, you guys also talk about anime a lot. <laughs> And thank you, Black Sheep 2000. Funny story. Me and my wife was looking for a Japanese partner. I'm Korean and my wife, wife is Filipina. Story short, we are together through anime. I mean, this is like the uh, true example of like, a, you know, um, Koreans and Filipinos like being weebs. Like seriously. <laughs> if I see a Korean speaking Japanese, I just automatically, automatically assume like they're, they're weebs. And Indonesia. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, you have been like talking about Indonesia, so like, I'm actually curious. Indonesia. Middle East, I'm gonna talk about it later too. Yeah. I really cannot say Middle East, because Middle East is like not even the country. It's a area right but i guess like we can just yeah say yeah let's see they cannot be got here though compared to like those people so like these are the only countries so uh indonesians this is where it gets really really difficult right so here are there any Indonesians here, by the way? I 
I'm gonna talk about Singapore too, yeah, Singapore, yeah. And Ashwin Riwa, thank you, love from India. The grammar of Indian languages, especially North Indian languages, is very similar to Japanese. Maybe that's kind of why, like, a lot of Indians freaking speak to Japanese well. So, uh... Indonesians are really, really good at their accent when it comes down to speaking Japanese. Their accent is freaking flawless, like it's insane. So their accent itself is gonna be here, but their grammar is gonna be here. So in Indonesia, I heard there's no past tense. So they usually like don't get the idea of like, I took and I take in Japanese sometimes. So I see a lot of like Indonesians like make that mistake. But I don't really think it's that important. So their accent itself is gonna be here. But their grammar is gonna be here. So... Yeah... Um... Yeah, let me just put them both here. Is it how I spell Indonesians? No. Indonesian's accent. So their accent is good, right? So this. What's the difference between a weeb and a person who who's obsessed over Japan but doesn't like anime? Uh, aren't they the same people? No. Aren't they literally the same people? <laughs> like, if they just... So, the definition of a weeb is like when they literally just want to talk about like Japan, like, out of nowhere. If, if they just... If they just come up to you and if they go like... <laughs> Japan <laughs> that's very weeby like that's the definition so if you search weeb on the internet like it usually says something like people who watch anime or whatever but like from my experience like you can know like who weebs are they usually just want to talk about what they want to talk about so they literally just go up to you and they literally go like <laughs> that's yeah and Jay Breezy, thank you. Germans at you weeps and pretty good Japanese in my opinion. Uh German's gonna be here though. Their Japanese are gonna be here. But this is kinda really tricky, right? Cause some Germans are insanely good at Japanese. I'm talking about the majority of the people here, right? Like some Germans are insanely good. I, I know like this one guy who's like German. His Japanese is like insane, dude. It's yeah, Cafe Cat is like a great example. It's almost impossible to know. Yeah, Asian, yeah, I know, I know, like yeah, they can be A, but I'm talking about the majority of the people who live there. So from my experience, the majority of the people who are there could be here. And there are some exceptions, like Kathy Cat and a friend of mine who's in Japan right now. That guy freaking is fluent in Japanese, it's insane. He's into like linguistics and whatever, so if I were to talk about my friends, yeah, Germany is gonna be here. But yeah, here. Melon Pan, I don't know like if he's like that fluent. If yeah, so um their weebness. I'm friends with like a lot of uh, Germans online, right? Their profile pictures are freaking anime. Like, 99% of the time. Wait, are there any Germans here? Are there any Germans here? Are there any Germans here? If so, say yes. If so, say yes. See? See? All the people who are saying yes right now have like anime pictures. See? 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 I mean, there's uh, one person. See? 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 Anime! See? See? Anime! Different anime! Different anime! See? 
Different anime. See? Waifu picture. See? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like, seriously. So, uh, Germans. Yeah. They are <laughs> weavy. <laughs> they really are weavy. <laughs> they freaking watch anime, dude. Like, seriously. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so like this is kind of tricky. G G Germans are so some of them are insanely good at Japanese. Some of them are not. So if I were to just talk about the majority of the people there, yeah, they're gonna be here. And I know like some of you guys like mentioned Sweden, Sweden, in Malaysia, sort of Dante ex soldier. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about Malaysia and Singapore too, because like talking about Singapore here is like a must, right? Because Singapore is like a country like where they freaking speak English and Chinese and like different languages there, right? So, and uh, so Sweden. Sweden's gonna be... Sweden's gonna be... I kind of want to put them here though. I kind of want to put th put them here. Kinda. Yeah, I kind of want to put them here. Um, but this is just like strongly based on my experience So I don't know but uh, All the Swedish people like I met so far freaking speak Japanese like so fluently and I'm not talking about PewDiePie. I mean PewDiePie is PewDiePie. I mean he's Swedish, but still and uh, I Culture wise like we are really, really similar. Like, so, Swedish people were like really shy, right? And they like to like have some space between like you and other people. And we do that too. So they already know this culture like where they don't get close to other people like way too much, just like what we do. So culture wise, it's really similar, and that's that's actually one of the most important important factors, like when speaking Japanese, by the way. And uh, I don't know why is it like their accent is close to like Japanese or something? Like, what is it though? I'm actually curious. Like, what is this? I heard that Swedish also has peach accent. Is that why? I mean, so like, I have like this one friend called a San. I call her San, right? San is like Swedish. When she speaks Japanese, she doesn't really speak Japanese, but like when she pronounces like some words, she freaking sounds fluent. And she doesn't even speak Japanese. Like she literally knows like zero Japanese, right? No, not San. Like I have a friend called a San, like from Sweden. And I just taught her some like phrases like you know I love poop I want to eat poop and whatever when she pronounces Japanese words she freaking sounds like unchi tabetai which is like almost perfect so I remember her that one that called your hand version right yes 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 so I kind of want to put them here but I don't know they can be here too this is like B plus because I mean, there's like PewDiePie, right? And PewDiePie doesn't clearly speak Japanese that much. But I'm talking about the majority of the people from my experience, from my perspective. So, yeah, I feel like... Mm, it's hard, yeah. Does your mom know you like anime? Yes. So... Yeah, I guess... Nah, actually. Yeah, B. Because... It's strongly based on my experience, but yeah, I don't really think compared to like these people, um, Swedish people are less fluent. Cause these people are freaking got like when it comes down to Japanese, like they freaking just are so fluent, and yeah, they're gonna be here. And Swedish people are yeah, a bunch of weeps. 
what I mean? I still haven't met any Swedish people who haven't told me like Oni chan yet. Like every Swedish person I've met told me Oni chan. Like stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> how can I not say they are not weeby? <laughs> and Jay Breezy, thank you, Mexicans. I'm gonna talk about them too. How can I not say like they are not weeby? I mean, seriously, they are freaking weaves. Shlaf Freaker Designer. Thank you, Malaysian Weeb here. Yeah, thank you so much for the donation. So, yeah, they are weeby, really. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like Sweden's pretty weeb. Yeah, not sure why I have that impression, but yeah, I mean, from my experience, like, every Swedish person I've met so far told me, like, Onichan, Kawaii, Kawaii Desu, whatever, like that. So, I mean, yeah, they are really weeby. And the next, next is gonna be, um,. Let's see. Mexicans. Yeah, Mexican Me Mexicans would be a great one. So Mexicans are gonna be hmm. You know what though? Can you guys actually guess? I actually know where they belong. I actually know where they belong. I don't really think Middle East is a country, is it? Isn't it like a location though? Prob C. Oh, Indonesia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Indonesia, weeby. Very weeby. Uh, Mexicans. So... Mm, this is a difficult one, right? Because, like, Spanish is similar. Yeah, pronunciation-wise, it's, like, it's really similar. But if I were to just talk about them from my experience, they're going to be here, though. Actually, yeah. It's not that Spanish is, like, entirely different. So. Mm. Yeah, here? Maybe here. Actually, let me just put them here. So my reasoning is like... It's just, I'm talking about this from my experience, right? I've met a lot of like Mexicans, but... Even though like there are a lot of like similarities between like... Spanish and Japanese, like pronunciation wise... I don't really think I've met people from Mexico that speak, like, fluent Japanese yet in my experience. And I feel, I don't really think the difference here is, like, that huge between, like, Japanese and Spanish. Are there any Mexicans here, by the way? Are there any Mexicans here? If so, would you say that your Japanese is fluent? If you would say your Japanese is fluent, say yeah, say one, if not two. Okay, uh, but this is really difficult though. Mmm, yeah. Then here. I'm not sure if I can really put them here. Because from my experience, I'm not really sure. And we even asked here. They're gonna be here. I don't really think they, they literally go like, Anime, bro! <laughs> and like, all the people who just said like, yes to my question, like, they don't have anime profile pictures. See? I mean, some of them do. See? See? They don't really have like anime pictures and that's yeah that's like instantly B we'll see. Um Because like all these people tend to have like anime pictures on YouTube at least. And thank you, Alonso Nissan. As Mexican I can confirm Japanese and Spanish are very similar in pronunciation. That's not a problem but an advantage. Yeah, so that's kinda why I wanted to 
put them here and here both. Language wise, it's different, right? Like grammar wise. But pronunciation wise, it's similar. So, compared to English, yeah, it's similar. That's kind of why we decided to put them here, but still, yeah, but Mexico, Mexicans are gonna be sort of weeby, but not 100% weeby. And uh, they have like freaking amazing boxers there. Like, I, I was into boxing before, and for some reason, in some like way, Weight, weight class. That's the word for it. Some, in some like weight classes, uh, there are some like, you know, undefeatable like boxes there. So I think they're like into sports more than like anime. I'm guessing. Singapore, here, yeah, Singapore, Singapore, Singapore. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, right? Singapore, Singapore. Singapore <laughs> Singaporeans dude like seriously this is kind of tough <laughs> Singaporeans I personally I personally want want to put them here I personally want to put them here Because dude seriously all the people who try to speak Japanese here in the first place are Singaporeans, man. Like seriously, all the people who try to speak Japanese on my channel already are like freaking like 90% of them are Singaporeans. Like they freaking say like I'm from Singapore. So that and how old oh, Eric, thank you. Which language do, do most Japanese people want to learn? Just curious, English. 100% English. So the reason is simply because like, you know, Singapore is a country like where a lot of languages are spoken, including English and like Chinese and like other Asian languages. They are exposed Singapore is not a lot of people. So I'm going to say that the main reason is culture. And Jay Breezy, Russia Putin's a big AL, big BL fan. Thank you so much for the donation. So Singaporeans, they freaking speak Japanese really, really well. And since they are exposed to like kanji a lot as well, they tend to learn kanji characters a lot faster than them, in my opinion. They are not got here though. I don't know. I think they really speak Japanese really well. And they can be on par with them. May Koreans. Let's. Can I just put them like. Korea is the reason why uh, like it's hard to just like put some countries here so I'm gonna just say Korea is different like uh, K Koreans are just different let's just put Koreans in a different like tier but I I just want to make another tier here so yeah Cor Korea is number one so yeah then this makes more sense right yeah Korea tier yeah Korea tier yeah Korea tier yeah Co Koreans are just, yeah, I mean, they shouldn't even be here because their language system is freaking 90% similar. So it's, if I put Korea here, then I don't know like if I can put any other people here, right? So this is Korea tier. Like their Japanese is like that good. It's sometimes like impossible to know if somebody is Korean in Japan. Like, I have like a lot of friends who I didn't know like they were Korean, like for freaking like a year. And they told me like, oh, by the way, I'm Korean. I'm like, what the f- You serious, bro? It's like that level. So, and then Singaporeans, yeah, so then it makes more sense. Yeah, they can be here. Singaporeans, they know kanji characters more. And then uh, they aren't afraid of like speaking Japanese that much. They are used to making mistakes because Singlish, right? They freaking speak like this one thing. I don't think they speak it anymore, but they, there was like this one time like where Singlish was a huge thing. I think it could be a still thing, but so they don't really mind making mistakes. So they are used to making mistakes and like fixing their mistakes. So they 
learn languages pretty fast. So yeah, Singapore is gonna be here. And yes, they are freaking bunch of weaves. <laughs> like <laughs> they are so weepy though. <laughs> they are so weepy though. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> they are so weepy. <laughs> they watch anime. They watch anime, right? But Singaporeans tell me, tell me, tell me. You guys watch anime a lot, right? You guys watch anime, right? Tell me. <laughs> Singlish is still a thing, okay. Yeah, yeah, right? Alright, so you guys do watch still anime. No? Really? I mean, I... A lot of, like, Singaporeans I've met so far watch anime and they freaking talk about anime, though. Everywhere. We even see to you. I... Like, we even see is gonna be, like, North Korea. And, uh... Some countries, like, in... Some area. But North Korea and, like... I mean, you can, like, obviously guess uh, what country is gonna be here. But, yeah, North Korea and, uh, what else? Yeah, some places. So. And the next one is, um, hmm, let's see. Everyone you meet is a weeb, no matter where they're from. No, I, I've met some people who are not weebs. I, I mean, a lot of my friends are non-weebs. But there are some weebs, like, who just go like, huh, You watch anime? <laughs> I watch anime, bro! You wanna watch anime together, bro? They, yeah, uh, uh, some of them do that, too. Vietnam. Vietnamese people. <sighs> Vietnam. Actually. Yeah, Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam. Here. Why isn't the US very weeby? Because like Americans are really really versatile. Like uh, Americans people say like Americans are dumb like on the internet, but from my experience, Americans are like interested in different people cuz it's a melting pot. People say, right? Melting pot. So they also get interested in like cultural aspects of like you know, Japan. So compared to other people like, who are in those countries who just literally go like, Anime! A lot of them don't... They don't really do that. They don't really do like, Anime! They talk about hist historical stuff a lot more. <laughs> see? 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 He's literally saying... He's literally saying like, I'm, I'm Singaporean. I'm a weeb. Nice to meet you. I've been watching your channel since the... What color are your pantsu era? Era. But thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And as thank you, Nigeria. I'll talk about them later too. British, beautiful, orchid. Thank you so much for the donation. I'll talk about them too. But so, I mean, that's like the definite proof of like how Singaporeans are freaking weeps. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with like being weeps though, by the way. So, uh, Malaysia and Vietnam. They are fluent. They are fluent. And, uh,. I don't really think Vietnamese are that weeb. No, right? I mean, there are some weebs. There are some weebs, yeah. There are some weebs, but I don't really think Vietnamese people go like, Anime, how you? They don't do that that much compared to them. Yeah, Vietnamese, they are into K pop more, yeah. I mean, that's the same in the Philippines too, though. Like, K-pop is a thing in the Philippines. But from, this is, like, from my experience, right? And, uh, yeah, s Vietnamese... I don't really think they just watch anime. They watch anime too, yeah, obviously, but they don't really act weeby. I think that's the culture there. They are... They are, like, outgoing, but they don't really act like a weeb. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe. And DM, thank you. And Amore Mio, how about Malaysia? Malaysians are gonna be here. Like, when it comes... Actually! Not Korean. <laughs> 
So Malaysians can be here when it comes down to speaking Japanese only because like Singaporeans and Malaysians are kind of similar in many different ways from my experience. And yeah, I've met a lot of like Malaysians like who speak Japanese really well. And they have like this one、uh, thing like where they don't really, they aren't afraid of like making mistakes. So like they learn it quite fast by making mistakes. And they know like kanji characters a lot as well. So, yeah, compared to these people, I think they can be on by. I really just want to put Koreans like here. And Malaysians are, yeah, weebs. <laughs> <laughs> Malaysians are weebs. I mean, <laughs> Malaysians are weebs. Malaysians are weebs. Malaysians are weebs. I mean, dude. You really cannot say, like, we are now weebs. Malaysians are weebs. I mean, trust me. <laughs> seriously, 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 seriously. Watch any Malaysian VTubers. I'm not VTubers. Watch any Malaysian YouTubers, right? And、uh, watch any Malaysian YouTubers who play games. They literally have, like, anime keycaps on their keyboards. And they literally have, like, anime background on their PC. They literally talk about. What anime is good in their videos? Literally. <laughs> I mean, they are, we they are really weeby. Like, you, you cannot say, like, they are sometimes weeby. <laughs> right. And、uh, rate Brazil.、Uh, let me just rate British people. Here. I think it has something to do with like, the difference between English and Japanese, though. So, yeah, I think the difference is like, way too huge. But better than Americans, actually. They speak like, better Japanese than Americans, usually, but it doesn't really, it's not like, a huge difference. It's more like, Their accent is a little bit closer to like, our accent, so they can. I feel like British people understand the culture ever so slightly better than the US. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of why I want to put them here as well. Here, instead of like A. This is, yeah, but this is actually really hard. So, in terms of like the language difference, it's so huge that. People seem to have a hard time like learning Japanese. Yeah, they can be here. They can be here. I mean, they can also be here too. But,、mm, right, let's just put them here. And the UK is gonna be here. I don't think. They are interested in like Japanese food more though than anime. I mean, there are a lot of like people who just go like, anime! <laughs> right. In every country. Like, that's just what people do in every country. Not, not like everybody does, but like some people do, right? But from my experience, I think they are into food more. Like, ramen. And as thank you, no British people don't try to use sarcasm when speaking Japanese. Easy for them to pick up nuance as well. Really? And Tetch Rice, thank you. How about Australians? I'll talk about them later too. And Fai Yan Fan, thank you so much for the donation. F Fin Fan? And Amu Remio, as a Malaysian, I can confirm that we are weaves. You guys are weaves. Like, seriously, you guys are weaves. <laughs> like, <laughs> you cannot say you guys are not weaves, though. Island culture effect. Yeah, they know. They seem to. But I mean, Americans are open about, like, learning what Japan is like, too, though. But it depends. Yeah, America's like, it's either like. They don't care, well, like they care. It's like, you know, there's like this、uh, super thick wall between like people who care about Japan, people who literally don't care about anything else but America, right? So it's kind of diff difficult. But yeah. And l e v e n x wait, have you seen the greatest、uh, great British baking shows Japanese week? That was a mistake now. I've never seen it, but I'm kind of interested in it. And the United States of America, why am I a C tier? Because. Americans, I mean, it's just their accent, right? It's just because, like, they're, uh, uh, like, what is this? 
language system in English is entirely different. So, like, when, you know, you know, like this one thing Americans do? Like, um, better, better. This one word has like freaking four different sounds we don't have in Japanese, by the way. Better. One, de, de. We say ter, better, better. That's how we say it in Japanese, right? And er, that er is like what we don't have in Japanese. And also, like, better. Like this stress accent, like we don't have that. And one other thing is like this Americanness. Like you just have to go like, better. You know what I mean? Like, Everything is different, so yeah, Americans are gonna be here. And uh, Australians. I kinda want to put them here, actually. Yeah, I kinda want to put them here. Actually, no, 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 no. I mean, I know one friend, a friend of mine, who speaks got like Japanese, so I was like, ah, eh, here. But no, in general. Yeah, they are here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 maybe, 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 maybe. And the Australians are... Weeps. Actually! No. This is kind of... This is probably not that accurate. But from my experience, Australians love meat, right? I mean, Americans do too, but... They freaking talk about wacky more than like other people, from my experience. I could be wrong though. And 5150 will thank you. My experience, Americans don't bother to try speaking Japanese when they go to Japan. They just speak English. That's kind of why I decided to put them here, too. So... I have like a lot of American friends who live in Japan, right? And some of them like don't literally care about speaking Japanese, like learning Japanese, because their mi their mindset is like, people in Japan speak J English, so why do we have to learn Japanese already, huh? Like that's like the mindset they have. Usually there are some exceptions, so yeah, I mean. And DM, thank you. To be fair, anime in itself is quite Germanophile. There's always some characters speaking or being German, like in Evangelion. Like, that freaking broken, like, German-speaking scene that blew up on the internet. Yeah. And, uh, thank you, uh, Maya Ibuki. Me, Peru, Bello, why, Hemo, so... My beautiful and beautiful Peru already pay CTM. We have the Machu Picchu and to Castle region letter P region letter E region letter P region letter E region letter P 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 region letter
Like, like. <laughs> Alright, so look at their uh, profile pictures, everybody. So, like, I just said, like, are there Canadians here, right? And all the people who said yes, do they have, like, anime profile pictures? Let's see. Uh, no, no, no. N yes, yes, no. Uh, yes, no. Actually. They can be probably here too, but I don't know, but it, it, this is just like from my experience, right? Yeah, I mean, they watch anime a lot. They, they watch anime a lot. They do watch anime a lot, and they told me, a lot of like my Cana Canadian friends like literally told me like what anime I should watch, like for freaking a week. Like non-stop, so, I mean. Yeah, they watch anime a lot, so they're gonna be. It's, why is it ca Kadana? And the... So, since, like, there are a lot of, like, Japanese people there, yeah, people from Canada speak, like, Japanese kind of more fluent. Yeah, right. Here. They speak Japanese slightly better than people from, like, these countries because they have, like, there are a lot of Japanese people there and they are exposed to like Japanese people more from my experience but but yeah still in terms of like the language they speak just because like English and Japanese are so different they can be still here but from my experience I feel like they speak Jap Japanese a bit better than like these people I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just keep them here. Actually, no, I, I really cannot make a difference here based on like that, but yeah. And, uh... Bangladesh? Bangladesh? To be honest, you miss underestimating the UK. They study a lot of Japanese in uni with uh, actual natives. No, th that's the same in those countries. Like, other countries too, though, by the way. That's the same in any countries. Like, there are a lot of, like, people who study Japanese in actual, like top-notch like places with actual Japanese people the reason why I'm putting them here is because like of the difference in English and Japanese and then like cultural aspects and everything including that they usually have like have like some advantage more than th those people same for those people too and especially Indonesians they seem to understand the Japanese more if you like study Japanese and English more, like English both, you will notice that the difference between Japanese and English, Japanese and English is like so huge. And that's kind of why you never really see Japanese people speaking English like fluently that much. There are some, but they probably put a lot of like effort into studying Japanese. I mean, English. And uh, Dabash Shoes. Sora, don't put US at C tier. I'm Australian and I can speak Japanese. We literally get taught Japanese in school. Just last week, Japanese exchange students came to my school and I was able to hold conversations with them. Consider putting us at B, please. <laughs> so... <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's just make sure. Based on the majority of the people there, okay. Like, considering the language difference, and, uh... <laughs> so bad, but yeah. I mean, I know, I know, like, some, some of you guys, like, study Japanese at school and whatever. But still, like, in terms of, like, the uh, language difference, and in terms of, like, what is it, cultural differences and stuff. I feel like English speaking countries are gonna be here mainly. And uh Asian Asians usually have like more advantage because like we share like a lot of stuff like you know. Like literally all those people have same words in their languages. Like, you know, Chinese, Chinese I'm not sure about them, but China and Korea and whatever, right? So and uh 
And no high slope, thank you.、Uh, to be fair, as an American, it's not like you can take Japanese in primary or high school. So you really won't get a chance to be exposed to Japanese language in the States unless you try to be. Yeah, so that's kind of why, too.、Um, so. <laughs> okay, this. Didn't you show us on. Australia, Australian elementary school with the students speaking Japanese. That's the same in any countries, though. If you like freaking look for it, you can find schools like that in any countries. It's, there, there's actually a school like that teaches Japanese like that in the Philippines, too, by the way. So, well, like even in Sweden, too. I, I know like this one guy who freaking grew up like Sweden speaking Japanese. So, there are schools like that in any countries. I'm just talking about their like general fluency, like proficiency in Japanese. Not considering like those people who actually want to learn Japanese yet. But considering the education system, Americans yeah, tend to have like, a hard, hard time like, learning Japanese, it seems. And these people have more advantage because like, they actually speak more, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I'm not from those countries, so I'm not really sure. And、uh, what else? Mm, I covered、uh, Russia. Russians? I mean, a lot of Japanese people are gonna agree with me though. Like, so. I think it's the s- pronunciation similar, right? Are there any Russians here? If you watch, like, Russian YouTubers, like, they freaking speak Japanese so fluently. Isn't it actually kind of crazy though? Yeah, Russians are really good at learning Japanese. And, um. They aren't the hardcore reeves, from my experience. Maybe? I, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. They probably watch a lot of anime and they probably go like, oh, Ni Chan, Hentai, but yeah, I'm not really sure. Russian should be B tier.、Uh, if you talk to any Japanese people and if you ask any Japanese people like, whether their Japanese is good or not, they will tell you, like, oh, yeah, their Japanese is good. So. I mean, you guys want to say, like, they belong to B, right? But I think Japanese people will tell you, like, they can be here. Are there any Japanese people here? Are Russians good at Japanese? I mean, there are some like a lot of like Russians who are freaking fluent in Japanese, right? And、uh, thank you, Maybread. Where does Taiwan go? I kind of want to avoid putting them here for reasons. And I mean, you can probably tell like why it is, but. It's a little bit of a difference. 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 So I know like there are people who are not that fluent in Japanese, but from my experience, they can be here. No? There's so many terrible language teachers in the US. It's actually amazing how they get hired anywhere. I mean, there are some amazing Japanese teachers there too. Again, like, America is a melting pot, right? The US is like a melting pot. So there are a lot of like, different types of people, different types of whatever. So yeah, I mean, I don't really think it's a bad thing though, honestly.、Uh, but Russian, really good though? I think so, yeah. I think so.、Uh, but yeah, I guess they can be here. Because, I mean, from my experience, like, I know their Japanese. I mean, my friends, my Russian friends, like, speak freaking fluent Japanese, right? But from my experience, they can be here, but the language difference is kind of huge, too. So, yeah, they can be here. Yeah, maybe. A な気がするそうだ日本人は A って言うよね Japanese people say like they belong to A So here's the thing Japanese people say they should be A And if you're not, not Japanese then you, you guys will say B Like that's the thing here 
So it's A or B, not C. I, I can sell like there, not C. So, eh, yeah, B, B is fine, B is fine, B is fine. And yeah, they're not that weeby, honestly. And uh, Nigeria, you said? I mean, there's like this one guy called Bobby Ologon in Japan. And he's freaking got there. <laughs> I mean, so I'm not gonna really put them here. But there's like this one guy called a Bobby Ologon in Japan. His Japanese is great. So like, considering that here, but no, in, in reality, no. In reality, mm, here. In reality, here. In reality, here. And uh, thank you, Livan X. Should we just rename C tier to English tier? I can't. Yeah, I guess I can. Yeah. So. The thing about it is, it's a little bit different. So, it's a little bit different. But, 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 So, yeah, I mean, I kind of wanted to put some like English speaking countries here, but like in general, the difference between English and Japanese is like freaking huge. It's freaking huge. It's insanely huge. And that's why you never see Japanese people like speaking like fluent Japanese. Like, seriously, it's just. It's just never possible. And Japanese people have like easier times learning different European languages, like these. I mean, these are not even like in Europe, but still. And uh, as thank you, wanted to finally get a Weeb C country, Nigeria. Mm. So a lot of people say like, oh, I am fluent in German, but not in English. I am fluent in Sweden. I mean, people never say like I'm fluent in Swedish, but. I'm fluent in Spanish, but not in English. I'm fluent in Brazilian Portuguese, but not in English. Like, I've seen people saying like that. I've seen people who are freaking fluent in Russian, but never, like, fluent in English. Too. So, like, difference is that huge. So, yeah, here. And I don't really think they're weeby, like, at all. Are they weeby, though? Are they weeby? Are they weeby? Are they weeby though? They are not weeby, like at all. They could be, yeah, they could be, but they don't. I don't think they go like. Hey, anime. <laughs> you say Africa's not very weeb, right? But South Africans are here, by the way. South Africans are here. Actually, no, maybe here. Um, here. Actually, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. wait. South Africans are here, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I've met a few Nigerian in Singapore. They're not weeby. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are not weeby. They are not, not weeby. South Africa must be B. So South, South, South Africa, in terms of like their Japanese fluency, is going to be here. I mean, they speak English and English in different languages. Actually, I kind of want to put them here too. I still haven't seen any people who are fluent in Japanese from like South Africa yet. There could be some. There could be some. I'm fluent in Spanish, but not in English. I mean, you see people like that in Japan though sometimes. Yeah, maybe here. And some. Mm. What the fuck? That's Hiroki. Hi? Hi? Eh, eh, I'm a winch monitor. Fuck my ass. <laughs> Hiroki just uh, called me and he's like, hey, can I, can I visit you? And I'm like, sure, why not? So he's gonna be here in like two, 20 minutes. 
And uh, thank you, S. What is this? That's why you never see Japanese people like speaking like fluent Japanese. Like seriously, it's just, <laughs> it's just. That's why you never see Japanese people like speaking like fluent Japanese. In English, 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 <laughs> English, 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 English. And uh, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Uh, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, Nepal, yeah, Nepal. <sighs> yeah, Nepal is gonna be here. I mean, their accent is like freaking th thick. Are there any Nepalese here? Are there any Nepalese here? People from, from like Nepal? You guys cannot say like J. Uh, words like that starts with a start with a J, right? Like juice. Like you guys say Zeus. And Levan X, thank you so much for the uh, donation. I think the bottom of your chart is cut off. Uh, it's not really. I mean, oh, it is. <laughs> thank you so much. So, uh, thank you, Levan X, and as I think I read all the donations, right? So, yeah, like apple juice, like this apple juice. So, th their accent, accent is thick, but still, like, they are really fluent. And a lot of, like, Nepalese people here run, like, Nepalese uh, restaurants here. They usually call them, like, Nepalese Indian restaurants. Because, like, if you put Indian, uh like in your name right like in your restaurant's name you usually get popular in japan so nepalese indian restaurants are freaking popular and they freaking are fluent in japanese so yeah yeah right so here nepalese i don't really think they're that weeby though i don't really think they're that weeby are they weeby french oh french oh french 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 Friends! Are there any French people here? Friends! It's like the biggest weeby country ever! Yeah, 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 wait, wait. Weebiness, they're like S tier! They're like S tier when it comes down to like weebiness! Yeah, 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 yeah! No, 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 no. Seriously, Nihonjin no kata, wait, Japanese people, if you've ever seen like French people in Japan, they speak some fluent Japanese, right? What friends is weeby? They are insanely weeby, dude! Insane! Like seriously, seriously! Yeah, <laughs> friends is weebos! Fork! It's, it's, I mean, so if Korea is like number one in, in terms of like speaking Japanese, friends is like number one weebiness though, really! I mean, there are some people who are not weeps, but, 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 you know, like, those anime cons and whatever are freaking so big in France, by the way? Yeah, yeah, France have, has a big manga industry. Like, seriously, uh, talk to French people and ask them, like, how big anime, Dragon Ball, manga is. It's insane. Like, France is more weeby than Japan. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, let me just like put them on a different color because like they deserve, they deserve, they deserve the uh, number oneness. My French no cosplay no koto kijin. So so so. Therefore, much the France really weeby. France is really weeby. And David Coleman, uh, thank you so much for the donation. Have you ever heard uh, New Zealand they're trying to speak Japanese? I haven't. Yeah, New Zealand is gonna be here too. I mean. English Japanese difference. And yeah, they're gonna be here probably. But so any uh any uh French people out there wait if you are French, if you are French, say yes. Actually, let me take a poll. Bangladesh? I'm gonna talk about Bangladesh. Lighter, because, I mean, I know, like, people want me to talk about them. I 
<laughs> what about uh, other Sp Spanish-speaking countries? Are they different or equal to Mexico? I think they're they're gonna be equal, probably. <laughs> Why Bangladesh always gets ignored? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, French people are weebs. From my experience, they watch Dragon Ball. I mean, talk to any French people, they will tell you how Goku is cool, how they want to be Goku. Seriously. And Christian, thank you so much for the donation. Not even joking, I'm learning French and after I told my teacher I'm also studying Japanese, we had a whole combo about ATLT, Dirt, Dragon Ball, and My Hero. See? See? I mean, I mean, Christian's like even saying it too. Seriously, trust me. French, French people are like... <laughs> Alright, so, got tier. Got, got tier weebiness. What about Japan? Why do you ignore Japan in this list? <laughs> because... And Bangladesh? Yeah, right, Bangladesh. So I really cannot talk about them though, because I don't really have any friends who are from there. I actually have one. So I don't really have like much data. I don't really think they speak fluent Japanese. Wait, are there any people from there though, by the way, here? In this stream? Turkey, Turkish, mm, uh, here, Turkish, here, Turkish. Yeah, I don't. Um, I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea about Bangladesh. I really have no idea. I really have no idea. I really have no idea. Maybe I'm gonna put them here, but. I don't know. This is like, I don't know tier, because I don't really have like much data. Turkey is weeby. Turkey, Turkey, they have freaking weeby though. You know, the, you know like this uh, one uh, history like between Turkey and Japan, right? We have like a freaking really, really good relationship between Japan and uh, Turkey, right? So, I mean, if you are curious about this, like you can study history, like just Google Japan Turkey history. So we have like a really good relationship, and a lot of Turkish people are weebs because of that. So they they tend to have a thing for Japan because of like you know historical stuff. So they watch anime too, and yeah, they usually become weebs. And Bangladesh, I'm not really sure. And yeah, Turkish people are freaking fluent in Japanese. Like seriously, like any any Turkish people I've met so far in Japan, there are so many of them in Japan too, like Turkish restaurants and stuff. Yeah. If a weeb was autistic, would you believe they can surpass weeb levels and become ten times more weeb weeb weeblik? I'm not sure. And um, Iraq. I really don't have any friends who are from there. So... Maybe here? I mean, so historical stuff and similarities you say, but I don't, I don't really have like much data about them. They can be here, but I don't really know like any people from there. So here, maybe? In Bangladesh? I don't know, I'm gonna just put them here, but... I don't really know about them. I don't really have much data about them speaking Japanese. Misspelled Bangladesh. Did I really misspell? Oh. I spelled it right this time, right? Thailand! 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 <laughs> Thailand! Thailand, yeah. Uh, their Japanese is good. Their Japanese is good, yeah. And they're freaking really weeby. They're really weeby, and their Japanese is good. Spain! Yeah, here. And... Uh, Spanish people. I don't really think I can say, like, they're that weeby. 
Are they that weeby though? Maybe not, right? How many people have you personally met from each of those categories through to base this on? I've met, I have like at least like, so from my life, so in my life, I've, I've been friends with like a lot of like different people from like different countries, right? So I'm going to say I know at least like 20, not 20, but like, I really forgot. I really forgot, but I know like a lot of people from like those countries. I put question mark. I put a question mark for like these countries because I've never really talked to any people who are from there. And me being a YouTuber, me being a YouTuber and reading comments on my channel, I see a lot of like people from like different countries. So I know like which countries are more weeby. And yeah, uh, when it comes down to weebiness, these two countries are like really weeby as well. Philippines and India. But compared to Fren French, mm, they cannot be on par. Netherlands! <gasps> Netherlands! <sighs> yeah, I see a lot of like, weaves. <laughs> I see a lot of weaves. <laughs> Egypt! Egypt! Uh, uh, Egypt! Egypt! E Egypt! Egypt. <laughs> I mean, I just see a lot of like freaking weaves in my experience. I don't know. Italy. Is it just me who think that, um, is it just me who thinks, like, is it just me who just think that Italians are so fluent in Japanese? Or maybe not. Is it, is it only me? Wait, like, am I dumb? Ukraine, they can be here. Um, I don't really think they are that weeby, but... Similar in pronunciation, yeah, maybe that's kind of why, yeah. Italy, they are freaking weebs too, so... And I'll thank you, S. I don't know if you know people from it, but Estonia is 8 here. I don't know anybody from there, so let me just... like a lot of question marks and I'm gonna just put them here too because I don't know anything about them right Ukraine has a knee I think they are really fluent in Japanese but I could be wrong so um and what else Greeks they are I've never seen any uh people from there that are fluent in Japanese yet Oh, Ukraine, oh. Uh, yeah, they are gonna be here. Can I just put them here? Can I just put them here? No? I don't think they are that fluent in Japanese. I don't know if they're like that weeby or not, either. I would put US in God tier because of Dogen, Joy, and some of these YouTubers. Joy is like literally half Japanese. Dogen's, Dogen is in Japan. You cannot really say like, oh, the country belongs to S tier just because of like those people. And by the way, 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 Joey is half Australian. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Pakistan. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I don't really, I don't really have like Pakistani friends. So, like, I don't really know any people from there. I don't really know any people from there. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I really don't know if I can even put them here either. <gasps> can I just put them here? Like, can I not? Can I? Can I put them here? Can I put them here? Can I put them here? No? Pull for it. Cause I don't know like how much Japanese they speak and how much like how much weeby like how many weebs they are. America is there? No way. Always Americans. 
Americans are li- literally here, right? And it's not that they, like they suck at Japanese or anything. I'm just talking about like general difference between like their language and their culture. And considering like all that, they're gonna be here. And yeah, France is like really weeby. So uh, just do Indian already. Can I just do this for Indians? Right. So. Wait. So you guys will see this, right? So now nobody's gonna say like where, where is India anymore? Argentina, Argentina. I don't know about them. I don't know about them. I don't know about them. Maybe here. I just literally have to guess. I really have to guess. I really have to guess. So this is based on people who never lived in Japan. And yes, it's basically from my experience. I. Uh, so I can kind of tell like which people tend to have a ha t have a hard time like speaking Japanese regarding the language they speak. And Mauritius, thank you so much for the uh, donation. And S, thank you so much for the donation. Isn't Hiraki coming soon? Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the donation. I don't know about them. Maybe I'm gonna spit them here. Can I just spit? Like, I don't know to you. <laughs> I don't know to you. <laughs> I don't know to you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the <laughs> donation. No <laughs> remedies. <laughs> Alright, that solves everything. I don't know to you. <laughs> One of the national language. Really? Really? But then mm. Oh yeah, I know about them. It's like what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, what is it? Um, uh, let's drink in their language is like tsukare naosu, isn't it? Tsukare naosu, which means like uh, to rest in Japanese. So like, if they want to say like, yeah, let's let's drink, they say tsukare naosu, which means like to rest in Japanese. So like, we share a lot of like similar words, which means they can be here. But I don't know, um, maybe maybe I can just like, put them here. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about the wee weebness thing. Why not got here? Because that still doesn't mean they can be on par with like these people. Because like these people like literally like share the same like characters though. I mean, yeah, right. They do too. I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah. I guess I just want to keep them like the only got tier people but yeah i guess they can be here yeah chad morocco finland 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 that's great that's actually great finland finnish finnish people yeah they're here though actually and they they aren't really that weeby they are all about metal so they're gonna be here like, they're all about metal and they're all about, like, you know, music more than anime, boom. So, Polish, Poland. Mm. Poland is here, but they're freaking weeby. Like, really, really weeby. They watch anime a lot, for sure. 
Israel? I don't know what's here. Did I even spell it right? I, I don't know what's here. So I'm, I'm not gonna even like put them here if I don't know like if they are weeby or not. So. And. Uh, but the weeby tier made me embarrassed. Why do you why do you feel embarrassed about it? Wait, is is being a weeb that thing? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you embarrassed about it? It's not a bad thing though. And I've never said like being a weeb is a bad thing. I've been saying like it's like a great thing. Well, why is it a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. It just literally means like how you, you just watch anime and you just play Japanese games and you literally go like, Ah, senpai, kawaii desu. That's it. You might be cringy, but like that's like what's wrong with it? Uh, lots of people hate on it. I mean, it's literally the same as like those like metalheads who freaking listen to metal and go like, Oh, metal rocks. I mean, metal's the best, right? There's no difference. It's It's not a bad thing. I mean, the thing about it is, like, weebs are cringy, you guys say, right? But, like, what's wrong with, like, being cringy? Like, there's nothing wrong with, like, being cringy. It's not a bad thing. You, you just literally like anime, right? There's nothing wrong with it. You, you like Japanese stuff? You like Japanese anime? You like being cringy? What's bad about it? Right? It's not that you were doing anything, like, illegal. You were not, you were causing trouble. It's not that you were making, like, other people you know, sad by being a weeb. There's nothing wrong with it, right? Then, like, you shouldn't be embarrassed of, like, being a weeb because, like, that literally means you just like anime being a weeb, so. Being a weeb is okay, but I should not be that hardcore with it. So the thing about it is, like, being a weeb is fine. Being, like, actually crazy about something is not fine. Like, that's the difference. I mean, that's the same in anything, by the way. Even, even metal's, like, the same. Being a metalhead is fine. Being an actual, like, metal, like, believer, and if you, like, start raging, if people say, like, metal is bad, then that's, like, there's a problem. Because, like, yeah, right? So if you're just, like, being a weeb, and if you just go, like, hey, anime is good, then nothing is wrong with it, right? So. And again, if there are no weebs, there's no anime. There's no Japanese games. There, there, there are weebs. Thus, we can... You know, we can make anime and we can just, like, push it, uh, like, outside of, like, the people who are, who are you know, not not Japanese and we can just make a living off, off of it, too. So, I mean, there's this, there's this good circulation between Japanese people and, like, who are not, you know, in Japan. So, seriously, there's, like, nothing wrong with, like, being a weeb. P people might make fun of you for being a weeb, but that's the same in any stuff, by the way. Like... Some people freaking make fun of you for being a metalhead. Some people freaking make fun of you for being a squeaker. Some people freaking make fun of you for being being Japanese. Some people freaking make fun of you for being American. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. You really have to focus on, like, whether you're, like, being problematic or not. Like, that's literally what you have to care. And Vivan X, Onichan, I want to eat poop. Thank you so much for the donation. So, seriously, there's, like, seriously nothing wrong with it, and if you, if you were, like, ever embarrassed of, like, being a weeb, just keep in mind that there's nothing wrong with it, and there's, it's not illegal in the first place. You were just doing what you love. You might be cringy, but yeah, so. But there's nothing wrong with, like, being cringy either, right? And, uh, Hiraki is gonna be here soon, so. ゼロコーラ飲みすぎると糖尿病になるって言いますけれどもどうなんですかね実際はい let me just put three more countries and then I have to go because like Hiraki is gonna be here um Norway Switzerland Are they weebs? Are they weeby? Are they weeby? I 
on, I'm gonna put them here. Denmark! <laughs> Why is the US uh, C tier here? AKA English tier. Like, it seems that the difference between English and Japanese is the biggest. To me, at least. From my experience. Finland isn't real. It's East Sweden. <laughs> here, have Hira here have Hiraki on stream. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, I really cannot do that. I really cannot do that. Anyways, I think that's it for today. I mean, there's like probably more countries like we have to put here. Peru? Hmm, yeah, probably. No, Peru here. Peru here, and then... Weebs. They are very weeby. Okay, so, uh... That's it, maybe? オマン国際空港中学生の時にめちゃくちゃハイアレツだそれオマン国際空港ってやばくねっつってめちゃくちゃ盛り上がるやつアラバマ<笑><笑> Why am I freaking putting a Never Yeah, I mean it's, it's a country. It's a country. It's a country. What about Nihon? Japan? <laughs> Sora's me metal favorite metal band. Elevady. Elevady. Corpiculani is like, yeah, my favorite too, but I don't know. <laughs> Republic of Alabama. Japan's voice than Korea. I mean, uh, no, I mean, I cannot put Japan here as a joke. I'm not really serious about this, so. Corp Kalani got here, yeah. Nihon wa shiso de arubeki. Demo, English country is not that. This is a language country. Greece? What? Mm, I can, yeah, I can be here. Daitai ego ken no hito ga, ano, muzukashi in shou, sne, ego. And uh, thank you, as if you put Alabama, put Texas, it actually did used to be its own country. Really? Huh. Alright, so that's it for today, everybody. Alright, so thank you so much for the, uh, thank you so much for uh, dropping by. Hiraki is coming here. I have to get off now. And I have to, uh, you know, um, party with Hiraki. I know, like, what they want to do. Uh, Nakabe is going to be here, probably. Like, so... They've been coming here like once a week to do something. <laughs> they they started like a new channel, and I'm not in it. But like they just need a place to like edit and whatever. So I've been just like letting them stay here. So, alright. Till then, I'm gonna just like read comments for a bit. But that's it. So this is the uh, tier, and uh, so one thing you have to know is like this tier is like obviously not accurate at all. This is just what I think. And you shouldn't be ashamed of like being a weeb, by the way. It's not a bad thing. It literally means like how much how much anime you watch and how much like Japanese games like you like and whatever. Like there's literally nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> why why is being a metalhead not a bad thing? But why is being a weeb a bad thing when they what they do is like literally the same thing, right? It's kind of like the same thing. They like something, and they just support something. I mean, I'm a metalhead. I freaking listen to metal a lot. And that's kind of why I can say that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with like being a weave. Wait, I think Rocky's here. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Great night. See ya. Take care. Bye. Rocky's here. Bye bye. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, wait, wait a little bit.
I don't know if you guys heard that one. I got them. They are here. They are here. That's that's not coming. That's coming. And he, he was like, "Hey, you streaming, bro?" And I'm like, "What?" Right, thank you so much for coming to the stream, everybody. Donation. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 what, what, what did I miss? Ah! Yes, thank you. Your hair looks like someone that took took a dark chocolate uh, caramel and put it in a blender. Have fun with Hiraki and Akabe. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much for uh, telling me that. I have to get off now. Uh, they are waiting. They are waiting. They might die because like it's freaking burning hot outside. So. Uh, don't be ashamed of like being a weeb. That's a great thing. Seriously, from my perspective, from like a Japanese people's like perspectives, being a weeb is never a bad thing. It's actually it means you support Japan. It's a great thing. Remember that, Mario. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much. So being a weeb is actually a good thing if you support Japan. It's never a bad thing, even though you're cringy. Japanese people love weebs. So yeah. Um and uh, yeah, keep watching anime. Keep watching uh, cringy stuff. Keep watching hentai and freaking be cringy, and we are fine. 